You know those cool travel photos though, when, when they do a bird's eye view and it's all like straight? I like that here too. Nulling? Nulling? Well then I'm a Nola. Nulling is essential. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dacre Montgomery and these are my essentials. May I please have my first essential? I feel like a total dick asking. <laughs> I'm happy to get up. I'm happy to get up and do it. No, no. Thanks, buddy. These are my blue, blue pair. They're so dirty, I can hardly see. It's just a haze. And then these ones, they're kind of cool. If you're wearing navy, beige. And then these are like polarized, but they have a little bit of a blue tint and I love the gold frame. My girlfriend, she actually gave me these. I literally will not spend money on sunglasses. I just sit on them, I lose them. I've lost so many pairs of sunnies. I usually keep them in a case, but on this instance, they're just thrown in because we had a late flight. <laughs> like this is really the essentials that I think that you need. A good comb, I use the fine end on the sides because my hair's thicker on the sides. So it gets it a bit more streamlined, you know what I mean? And then you use the wider ones on top so you can get those nice parts through your hair. These are really important. Eye drops, just keep your eyes hydrated. After our late flight, I had to put a whole bucket of these in my eyes this morning to wake up. <laughs> I dare give away this secret. This is the best cologne you will ever smell in your life. It's Tom Ford Black Orchid. It smells so like woody and sweet. It's kind of masculine and feminine at the same time. It's the best unisex scent. I've even got a little uh, travel version. And then Aesop do really good like unisex. It just smells so like woody. This one's far more kind of earthy, I think, than that one. That one's quite floral. It's very hard to find something that you can match that the oils of your skin don't kind of push out and it rejects. And this is one of the few ones I find for me hangs. So I can spray it on a jacket, like a jacket that I'll never wash. And it smells like that, you know what I mean? I could tell you smelling good is essential. I was given these as a gift a while ago. These are like the original ones. And then I bought these ones, which are like waterproof sport kind of versions. They're noise canceling. They look like that, little green light. And then you just pop them in and they go doo -doo -doo, and then they say connected. I already can't he hear myself speaking. They're so good. We go surfing in Sydney and these surfers wear out these earbuds, like off the coast, out in the water. And they have like these earbuds in and they have Apple watches on. And I'm like, are these guys listening to music? Like, I can't think of anything better. I'm also not skilled enough of a surfer to go surfing and not lose them yet. Whereas these guys don't even get their hair wet. I don't even know how they do it. This is really good because I travel a lot. So I need to be able to, when I'm landing, pop it in and pop open the SIM holder and basically put in, you know, whatever country I'm in, whatever SIM that that country equates to. Surprisingly essential, my friend. Actually, I actually have some info for you. Yeah? Two iPhones have eSIM. Soon this will not be essential then. Redundant. <laughs> <laughs> So when I started traveling a few years ago, my sister, who is 12 years younger than me, gave me two of these. And one was to keep beside her bed while I'm away traveling. And one was for me to take. And I think it's hard to understand, especially as a younger human, <laughs> why your brother is away. So I think this is just a nice little token. She actually only started wanting to watch Stranger Things recently, and she's enjoying the show now. When I was in drama school, we had to do this animal week where we had to be animals. And I did the most terrible impression of an owl. I don't know why I was given an owl. So there's probably a joke lying somewhere in this. Would you give us your owl impression? Mate, it's not gonna happen. So <laughs> I'm way too embarrassed. I have like so many different caps. I'm not a baseball fan. So this is totally not representative of me. I just love the uh, beige. I'm all about the beige. I wear mostly like the cheese cutter caps, do you know what I mean? Like the old New York newspaper boy style with clips on the side. And they're called like cheese cutter hats because in Italy they used to put the knife down the side and do the belt up over it. I don't know why you'd put a knife that close to your head, but that was what I heard. So I usually wear those. I would say a hat is essential. So this is my passport holder. My mum is Canadian, my dad's a Kiwi, and I was born in Australia. So I keep my hefty collection in here. Which passport do you use the most? Um, it just depends. I feel like 
Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, you can pretty much go anywhere on the planet and be welcomed with a smiling face. I have the same necklace that I, I wear everywhere. I actually ended up getting it into Stranger Things. Billy wears it as well. It's like a St. Christopher kind of necklace that my girlfriend got me. I don't know, do you guys know David Yeoman? They do the most amazing pieces, man. Like the shipwreck collection. It's like beautiful Aztec type jewelry. A lot of his stuff has horses. This is a horse. I really like all the horse imagery on jewelry and kind of like an attribute to like mafiosos, the horse racing sort of stuff that you saw going on and stuff like The Sopranos. When we were shooting Stranger Things, we watched the whole, like all the seasons in Atlanta. I heard they're remaking it. Nah, man, there's just some things you shouldn't touch. That's not essential. Not essential.